Finding your data assets is one thing. Managing both your technical and business metadata while maintaining proper security requirements is a whole other beast. Luckily, Data Catalog can help. Stay tuned as we cover how to add schematized tags to your data assets, as well as show you how integration with Cloud Identity and Access Management, or Cloud IAM, provides ACL controls on your metadata. Data Catalog is a fully managed and scalable data discovery and metadata management service that empowers organizations to quickly discover, understand, and manage all their data in Google Cloud. I am Anita Kibunguchi, and today we'll be tackling how to understand your data assets with schematized tags in a safe and secure way. Just like sticky notes, data catalog tags act as annotations. Whereas other data catalogs capture tags as simple text strings, Data Catalog captures business metadata in a schematized format via tags. These tags can be created through the UI as well as custom APIs. Users can now define a business tag as string, double, boolean, or enumerated enum, making it easy to catalog and find data assets. So you've heard us talk a lot about technical and business metadata. So what do we mean by these terms? Technical metadata is data that's already saved in GCP services such as table names, column descriptions, and date created. This data is automatically ingested from the data source into Data Catalog without any involvement on your part. For example, if you add a new table to BigQuery, it will show up in Data Catalog in a matter of seconds. On the other hand, business metadata are tags that provide additional business information that is valuable to a customer. This could include PII, delete by dates, business logic, data quality scores, as well as governance tags. By adding business metadata, data assets become more searchable and usable for your team. Let's take a look at how you can add rich information to your data assets with tag templates. On the Data Catalog home screen, scroll to Tag Template section and click on Create a Tag Template. Here, you can define the template ID, display name, as well as add attributes and define their type. Each attribute type can be string, double, boolean, or enum. Once you've added all your attributes, click on Save Template. Creating a tag template can also be done programmatically using custom APIs. Let's learn more about an existing tag template. On the Data Catalog home screen, scroll to the Tag Template section and click on Explore Tag Templates. We'll look at the Data Governance Tag Templates. This template has tags to help the Data Governance team certify specific data assets for use. It also lets approved users know which data assets they can use. You'll notice that each attribute has a type as well. For data classification, the type is enum. From there, the data governance team can now define whether the data asset is public, sensitive, confidential, or regulatory, and can then apply the applicable controls around it. Now that you've explored a tag template, let's look at how the integration with IAM helps with access control of your data assets. Instead of having to set separate permissions or ACLs to register data assets, Data Catalog auto ingest technical metadata and honors existing source ACLs. This means that if a user already has read access to all data assets in BigQuery, then they'll be able to discover and have read access to those data assets in Data Catalog. Similarly, this IAM integration allows further access controls to be set. With Data Catalog, you can set read access, metadata read only access, and no read or no metadata read access. Depending on these permission settings, users' search results and access can be controlled, keeping highly sensitive data limited to those with the necessary access. Thanks for watching, and please check out all our Data Catalog videos and visit our website to learn more.